look i don't understand today's dating world i take girls on nice dates i get them flowers i'm emotionally available i go to the gym it doesn't matter what i do none of those things entitle you to a partner and talking about what makes you most deserving is probably what's making you most undesirable you sound like you can't figure out why your puppy doesn't love you despite the fact that you're giving it food and water you can look perfect on paper and be awful in person Bad men can take you on good dates and some of the worst men have the best bodies. And did you forget that there has to be a person on the other end of that arrangement? Cause you're talking an awful lot about being liked but not at all about what you're looking for in a relationship. People go on dates to meet new people and find the right person. But it sounds like you don't wanna find the right woman. You just wanna find a woman. And this is the attitude that can turn women off so easily. Listen, I don't think what the guy is saying is so bad. The guy is just expressing frustration from being fed two conflicting viewpoints on what women want and what women really want. You know, it's two different realities. And this is the reason why guys like Jordan Peterson, the Tate brothers, and these kind of characters, red pilling men, if you will, gain in popularity because they're giving them the reality. And when they do, then women get pissed. And they say, oh, this is misogyny. How dare they say these things? When in reality, they're not really saying anything that's really scathing. They're just telling you the reality. The guy's frustrated because he's trying to better himself. He's trying to become a good mate for a woman, if you will. And in reality, he sees that the worst men are the ones that are actually getting the women, right? And this is frustrating. And this is the society that is today. Now, you're like, oh, well, women are not puppies and stuff like that. Absolutely. But for most men, finding a, a, a mate... It's one of the most important things in life. I know when I was young, that's all I cared about was dating. When I was young, that's all I focused on. And for some guys, I have a harder time than others. And I believe it is because of these female influences. A lot of these guys are raised by single women, and they're being fed a complete trope when it comes to dating, and they make it hard. I was lucky. My mother gave me the reality, right? And so I fared pretty well. Do I think it's bad that he's expressing his frustrations? No. And do I think it's bad that people like Jordan Peterson or the Tate Brothers express their opinion and try to educate guys? No, I don't think it's wrong. And women shouldn't be feel threatened by this kind of thing. And the fact that they are feeling threatened is very telling. I think women, a lot of women, let's just try, especially like the FDS groups and this kind of stuff, they're trying to keep the wool over people's eyes. And she is reacting incredibly defensive to just a guy expressing his frustration. And people are seeing that as, as misogyny. What's the problem here? Just educate them. You're like, well, it doesn't entitle. You're giving no actual advice other than trying to invalidate his feelings of frustration. That's all she's doing is saying, no, what you're saying is not violent. You're not allowed to have a partner. You shouldn't care. Just the fact that you're complaining about it is what's making you desirable. So it, it, she's telling him that by communicating his frustrations, that in itself is the reason that he's unable to find a woman. So she's silenced him any further. She's like, you need to keep that bottled up because just saying it is making it worse for you. And this is part of the problems. We tell guys to communicate Oh, come forward, you know, tell us how you feel. We want to work on this kind of stuff. And then you make them look like they're fucking idiots when they do. You treat them like, how could dare you think this way? How could you possibly want? Because you're talking about it is the reason you don't have it in the first place. This is very frustrating to me. And I hope things change. And this is why I, I talk about this stuff on the channel. Because I'm passionate about it. And, you know, if they're going to talk shit, I might as well talk shit as well. And we'll go back and forth. Anyway, what do you guys think about this situation? Thank you for watching. As always, buy red and sell green.